Hi, this is Nick of Creative 111. Welcome to 2020. I'm here inside of Final Cut Pro 10, and I want to speak to you about making title templates ready for the 9x16 or social media format that shows video vertically. So what I mean by that is best to show you. I'm actually going to head over to my titles and generators sidebar. I'm in the built in and out category. And to bring in one of the titles to my timeline, I'm actually going to select a clip, press the X key to mark it, select the title, and then press the Q key to place it as a connected edit here on my timeline. Now, this title looks great for the 16 by 9 format or 4K. And what I'd like to do is just have this title ready if I switch this project for any reason to a social media format like 9 by 16. So let me show you what happens right now. If I actually go back into my project here and with my project selected, I'll head over to the inspector. I'm going to choose to modify my project settings to not be of the 4K size, but I'll customize that. And I'm going to actually flip these two numbers around. So I'm going to make it 1080 by 1920. So with this custom setting, I'll press OK. Final Cut goes to great lengths to actually fit the video to the actual 9x16 format, but I'll temporarily just turn off my text and go inside my inspector to scale up this video format so it looks a lot better for the intended raster. Sweet. So I'll turn back on my title right now, and you're going to notice something when the word subtitle comes up it's cut off, and it's cut off for the entire screen. That's because this title template was designed for HD video or 4K video of 16.9. So how do I fix this and make sure this never happens again? Well, I could scale this template every single time I used it. If I were ever to use this vertical video format, there's a much easier way. And that's with the help of Apple Motion. I'm going to actually go here to the title and generator sidebar, find that exact same title that I was talking about in build in, build out. So that was dramatic. I'll right click that template and choose to open a copy in motion, knowing that that's installed in my system. Within a few seconds, it actually creates a copy here in Final Cut and Apple Motion launches there in the background. So I'm here inside of Apple Motion and I really don't need to know a lot about it to make this change happen. In fact, what I need to do is with the project selected, head to the inspector and in the project tab, take a look at a pane called snapshots. Here I can see that snapshots have been taken for the 1920 by 1080 format, as well as the 4.3 format. But I'd like to add a format. So I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to choose a custom setting. And its square ratio is totally fine. But we do want to flip around the numbers to be 1080 by 1920. So here's step one is just deciding on that format. That looks a lot more vertical to me. But if I move my playhead further, that subtitles is still getting cut off. The trick is when you're in a custom snapshot is to do a little recording of what's going on inside of it. So one way to do that is if you click on the edit snapshot button, you'll see this little window pops up saying stop rig edit mode. That's exactly what we want. What it's going to do is kind of record our keystrokes or whatever changes we make as we're in this view. I'm going to select the main group, which actually contains all my titles, head to the properties tab, and I'm going to scale these all down quite a bit to about 50%. Now I'm going to check this title while still in this rig edit mode to make sure that my subtitle fits in just perfectly. It does. I now have a snapshot ready to go with my titles scaled down quite a bit for that 9 by 16 format. I'm now able to stop rig editing mode. And most importantly, I'm just going to press Command S, and that's going to save a copy of this. I can choose to save the original or save as a duplicate, which is what I want in this instance, just to give this template a new name. And I'll call it 9 by 16 ready. I'll choose a category that's way better than 360. In fact, I'll just keep it in the build-in out category. And I'll choose a theme here for Instagram theme templates. Make sure to save a preview movie. And then just as simple as that, publish this to Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm back here inside of Final Cut Pro 10. And in the build in and out category, I'm actually going to scroll down because I created 
a new 9x16 template. That's the name of it, ready. You can see there, there's the title. Let me select it and actually place it right over top of the existing dramatic text template. And I'll choose the option after I see that plus icon to replace from the start. You can see that the template comes in there. And what's really cool is that subtitle is now fitting, date is now fitting, and these small little changes have gone a really long way to make sure that if I work with this social media vertical format, my templates are going to be ready and easy the next time that I select them. That's it for now. I'm Nick from Creative 111. Click on that subscribe button if you'd like more tutorials just like this one.